I'm never gonna run out of lip balms. So these are the lip balms from iTunes Beauty. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the products that I got from the brand iTunes Beauty. I just ran out of facial cleansers and I wanted to try a different brand, something that I've never tried before. So I came across the iTunes Beauty, the Milk Facial Cleanser. This is the very first product that I saw from iTunes Beauty. And they also have the lemon facial cleanser. So this is the milk and this is the lemon. I ended up getting a few other products from the same brand. So I also got the strawberry whitening skin peeling gel face and body. I already tried all of these products. There's no single product here that I haven't tried yet. I also got the strawberry whitening skin peeling gel face and body. And it says here 30 second dispel. <laughs> 30 second dispel horniness. Why is there horniness here? So horniness. <laughs> you need to read this. Yeah, if you guys have tried um, a couple of products made in China, sometimes they have like funny translations. So it says here 30 second dispel horniness. I don't really know what they're trying to say here, but yeah, that's what it says. And it says here. Natural essence 100% three days whitening. I tried this already and this is one of those It comes off as gel first and, and then you're supposed to apply it on your skin and While you're rubbing it you'll feel it starts to turn into like a uh, scrub like tiny little scrubs on your face This is not my first time to try something like this. I tried one from I white I white Korea and I like I like products like this because it acts like a chemical peel. Oh no physical peel so yeah and then I also love, oh my gosh, if you guys love lip balms, if you guys always have dry lips, suffer from really, really dry chap lips, um, I'm one of those girls and that is why I have my own lip balm brand. It's Mint Potions. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that I make lip balms. And we actually have a shop and I'm just gonna put the link down below if you're interested in that. I make tinted lip balms, um, lip and cheek tints, lip and cheek rouge. I have a couple of fun products for you guys but um, even though I have my own lip balm brand it's also fun to try different lip balms from different brands they have this huge lip balm this is a thing in a flavor cherry yeah cherry extracts there you go this is the packaging and this is like a huge lip balm I'm not even joking I'm gonna show you guys in a while I'm gonna open these one by one and they also have the aloe vera flavor here and this has uh, this has 50 grams inside, so that's actually a lot for a lip balm. And this one is the uh, I'm not really sure what flavor this is. Natural extracts. I don't know. This is just their classic lip balm, I guess. It doesn't really have a flavor in the packaging, but yeah, this is the lip balm. It's huge. It's almost the same size as your face moisturizer it's actually really huge i also have the strawberry uh flavor right here so i guess we're going to start with the facial cleansers i'm going to do a demo for all of these very soon especially the facial cleansers because i like i said i've used all of these already and i'm actually really really impressed with the facial cleansers so this is the the milk fla facial facial this is the milk facial cleanser so it says here whitening cleansing cleansing moisturizing anti-acne remove spots refreshing and firming um i really like this one because it really removes dirt on my face so if you're looking for a facial cleanser that really foams up well you're gonna love this it's actually comparable to pond's uh, facial cleanser it really foams up like that this is not one of those facial cleansers that doesn't really foam up a lot i'm really really a fan of facial cleansers like the uh, shiseido whip cleanser i don't know I, I forgot what it's called, but it's just in the blue packaging. It says Senkai, something like that. Facial whip, facial cleanser? I don't know. I'm still using that. So I, I use a couple of facial cleansers and I have a few favorites. But this is one of my current favorites right now. And this is actually really, really affordable. So I'm gonna put like a few links down below where you can purchase this. But I love this one in particular, aside from the foaming effect, is the scent it literally smells like milk and smells really really good um i like this more than the lemon one um they have they both have the same cleaning effect foaming effect 
but the lemon cleanser which i'm gonna show you guys now this one uh i'm not really a big fan of the scent although it also smells like lemon but i like the smell of the milk one it's a lot more calming more relaxing than the lemon one probably in the morning this is nice i haven't really tried this yet in the morning to wake you up right like the lemon scent like i said they're very comparable to like pond's facial washes they do foam up and they are one of those facial cleansers that will really really deep clean your skin they won't leave a sticky um layer on your skin like other facial cleansers do i really really hate it when um some facial cleansers leave this very slippery film on my skin if you have oily skin you're gonna love this those are the first two from itron beauty and then i also have their strawberry whitening skin peeling gel face and body this is how the peeling gel looks like this really smells like strawberries too kind of smells like glue just a tiny bit but it comes off as this very very light like super super light pink uh gel comes off looking like that and once you rub it by the way sorry for the nail i know i have to repaint them but once you start rubbing it, it turns into this scrub and i love this one because it doesn't take too long for these things to form like all you need to do is just rub a little bit and you have to do this with dry skin instantly you have your scrub right there it's a very very mild exfoliant because it's not as harsh as walnut scrubs and i actually really like it and then um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the lip balms their lip balms are absolutely amazing if you guys are suffering from chapped lips you're definitely going to love this because first of all you get a lot of product uh 50 grams this is gonna last you forever and this kind of smells like an ointment um it also reminds me so much of carmex because carmex kind of smells like this too but this is a very very thick lip uh what do you call this lip balm new and advanced formula lip balm for very dry or chapped lips with very effective nourishing emollient and soothing actions it can be used alone as a lip moisture moisturizer or used before applying color lipstick for smoother and more beautiful lips so it's actually really true you can apply this on its own you can apply this as a lip topper or under your lipstick it looks like this as you can see it's kind of thick and when you apply it on your lips it's really going to completely moisturize your lips and this is not one of those um light lip balms it's actually very very thick mm. i love how this feels on the lips i'm not even joking and to be honest with you this is very 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 comparable to the uh what do you call this the it's very very similar to the elizabeth arden eight hour cream it actually smells kind of similar too um it also feels like carmex on my lips so once it's on your lips you will feel that it's actually very cooling and um it's the same with all of the flavors i have the aloe vera i have the cherry i have the strawberry and this one it feels so thick very moisturizing very emollient like it says on the packaging i always use this whenever my lips feel like it needs some saving just because um i really suffer from dry lips i'm not really sure why um i love mint potions um tinted lip balms that's what i use if i'm like wearing very light makeup and i want a little bit of tint but i found that this one actually helps so much for super super dry and chapped lips and it usually happens to me at the end of the day so i'm going to show you guys now the aloe vera um do you guys see that this is the before and this is the after and this is actually really true it's really gonna make your your lips feel super plump mm, super super thick consistency but nothing too uncomfortable it's not sticky at all you guys see that it feel it really feels like a lip therapy balm so this is the aloe vera love the aloe vera as well yeah this one smells really good as well 
Reminds me so much of like one of those Chinese ointments. My only question is, um, it actually feels very very cooling on the lips. So it's supposed to have something menthol in it, but it doesn't say any on the ingredients list. There's absolutely no menthol here, no peppermint, no eucalyptus on the ingredients list. So I'm not really sure why it feels cooling on the lips. But overall, I really love how it feels on the lips. Again, I have I've never had any allergic reaction to any of these. I've tried all of the um, Ancient Beauty lip balms and I, I fell in love with them. So we're gonna move on to the strawberry lip balm. I um, actually love all the lip balms, so it just really depends on you. They all have the same consistency, the same formula. They just have different scents. So this one is the strawberry one, and the strawberry one also smells really nice. I can't really choose which one's my favorite. Oh no, I actually have a favorite now. I'd go for the strawberry one since I love strawberry flavors. So and if you guys are wondering what this product feels like, it really feels like the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream. And that, that one is actually like a thousand plus. I'm gonna apply one more layer and show you guys. I tried sleeping with this, woke up with really, really soft lips. But of course, if your lips are really cracking, you will see the next day that you, all you have to do is to just take it off with some wipes and your dry skin will come off with it so so gosh i have so many lip balms plus i use my own brand as well i'm never gonna run out of lip balms so these are the lip balms from iTunes beauty they, if you apply too much you're gonna end up with that bit long, which is disgusting i'm just gonna remove the excess so yeah don't apply too much if you don't want that to happen to you um just apply a thin layer because you don't really need a lot like i said a little bit of a little bit of this product goes a long way um, like I said it's already a, a thick consistency so you don't really have to layer it too much but these are all the flavors that I have I'm not really sure if they have more flavors I really recommend this definitely 10 out of 10 so that is it for today I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any products from iTunes beauty that you want me to try you think I would like um, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any other brands that you want me to review and you want to see on my channel again leave it in the comments section down below again thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!